Let's make some delicious isiero. It's so delicious and creamy. Hello lovelies, let's get started. First you want to wash your isiero really well. I have already washed mine as you can see. It's very clean. I will transfer in a pot. The brain is in the foil to keep it safe because I'm going to use it for the sauce to make it creamy. I will add onions, garlic and ginger. Please keep what you don't like. I will add my seasoning powder and salt. Add water, cover with parchment paper or foil to trap in the heat. Cover and allow it to cook on a medium heat, you guys. This is here who doesn't take time to cook. So we'll get back to it shortly. I will be cooking white yam to make the isiru filling. I will peel and wash my yam. Usually isiru is meant to be enjoyed as it is with beer or pame, but I really want to make it filling for my children. You guys, when do you add salt when cooking yam? Do you add when it starts to boil or you add immediately as I did? Let me know in the comment section. Back to the isiego, I have already turned off the heat so it has cooled down properly. I'm going to debone it and cut it into bite sizes but before I do that, I'm going to add water in my palm ash and allow it to settle before straining. You can also use edible potash. So for this isiego, I will carefully remove the meat from the bone, cut the meat into bite sizes. You can also add some bones if you prefer. You guys, the isiego is already tasty and flavorful. Once that is done, I will set it aside. For my ehuru, I'm going to roast it to enhance the flavor, blend it and set aside. I will chop my onions, scotch bonnet pepper and then strain my palm ash. To make the sauce, I will add enough palm oil in a pot because we are having yam so I'm going to make the sauce and scoop some before adding the isiru. I will gradually add the palm ash water and mix until it curdles. Once that is done, I will scoop some of the sauce in another pot, add some of the chopped pepper and doba. As you can see, I'm adding in both sauce, so I'm going to add the bran for the isiru to make it creamy. I will mix until well combined. Next, I will add my isiru and mix very well until well combined. I'm going to heat it up, you guys. I nearly forgot my ehuru. I'm going to add it now and mix very well again and allow it to get hot. Once that is done, I'm going to dish it out. You guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for everything you did and you did. Thank you for everything 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 you did. Thank you for you you Let's 
Das ist gut.